Okay, this is a little bit about the Truc application, which I think is one of the best applications for the Nook because you have access to all kind of feeds on the internet. You have access to the um, Lex Cycle online catalog, and you got the New York Times feed, you got USA Today feed, um, you got your Barnes and Noble books in here. You can scroll through your own stuff in folders, like you see by authors and stuff like that. But um, more interesting is the Lexington online catalog. Um, you got like the Random House Free Library. You got the Project Gutenberg in here. And you can just open it up and you can, you know, you have the most popular books, the most popular authors, the recent editions, and by genre and everything. And you just can, you know, you can open up any book you'd like to have and say, oh, I want to have this book. Or one of these books and he's fetching it and I say I would like to have this book on my reader and you just push on it and it starts downloading in the background so you with this application and a Wi-Fi connection you have access to all the free books that Gutenberg and all of the Lex, Lex cycle um, thing has um, you also have access to um, to all kind of feeds here. You have original, you have like the news feeds. Um, if I go on this one, I can see my subscriptions, which I can add. I can see the popular feeds. I can see popular newspapers where um, you see like Guardian stuff like that. It's everything in here. It's French. It's German stuff in here. It's uh, iPhone. It's pretty interesting, and you can. You know, if you ever open something up like that, it says starting downloading in the background. Oh, okay, this one didn't work, but usually it works. It's very easy. But what else is very interesting about the Truc application is you can add your own stuff to it, and you can add um, a Wi-Fi connection to your Calibra application on your computer. So if you have your books on your computer and everything and you don't have them all in here, you can add a new, whoops, I'm sorry. Hey, come on. Um, you can add a new um, address here by pushing this button. Oh, I pushed it too long, sorry. <laughs> if I just push shorten it. Now I can add, for example, the address of my computer um, and um, if I have the Calibre server started on my PC, I can have access to all the stuff on my computer. You just enter your computer ID and then and a double dot and 8080 a slash and then stanza and I hope it works now <laughs> okay and you go into submit and here it is Calibre library I have all my books all my nook via the Wi-Fi net I have my authors I have my titles I have the news I have by text I got by series and all kinds of stuff organizing stuff that I already put on the on the um, on my computer and I could simply download it if I push it now this button it will download this um, this book in the background and it adds it to my library so this is pretty cool I mean you can do all kinds of stuff with a truck application but these are the uh, two basic things I'm using it for to have access to my Calibra stuff and if I now go to scan folders uh, the new things are on there and this is great I mean hey uh, you see I got dreams of my father now on there two times I don't know if you can see it okay and here I have the feeds on here that are downloaded today already it's like FAZ and Zeit Online and Spiegel and uh, you know this is awesome oh, this is a thing that should the Nook do already by its own. It has this application and it doesn't use all the possibility it has in that set. So the Nook launcher enables your Nook to do a whole lot more stuff and makes it much more fun to use it. So um, I haven't checked it all out what you all can do with the Nook launcher stuff. I mean there are a bunch of uh, 
of additional applications um, in there. Uh, I'm going to check this in the next time, and maybe if I like one or the other of it, uh, I'm going to make a new video of it. But um, I think it's a nice thing to have on your Nook because it enables things that are really great, like the feeds or like um, the Wi-Fi connection to a computer uh, for your Calibre stuff. It enables the cover flow. It enables you way better search function in your library. And um, you could also like browse the internet, which of course is a pain with the e-ink screen. Okay, there's no doubt about that. But you have the possibility to do it if you're in a Wi-Fi net. So I think the soft rooted Nook is a very nice thing to have. And I will leave this soft root on my Nook because I like some of these applications. So I hope I brought a little light in your dark room. <laughs> See you next time.